Hey y'all, my name is Luke. I make bags and I also have this boat project going on. And in this episode, I wanted to show how that propane locker compartment went in. So it started off by getting some spare pieces of foam together, cut into the right shapes to hold two of the uh, 10 pound propane tanks for marine use. So just getting measurements off a website and uh, finding a pot that had a little bit bigger circumference so that I could make some little recess inserts for them to sit in. And it uh, took me a while to figure out just the right dimensions because it's a curved space and every piece has to be a little bit different. But this is the shape that I came up with in the end and I tried to do it in as few pieces as possible, but I thankfully saw that I'd have to put it in like this in order to even fit it into place. If I had made the whole thing as one piece, it would have been impossible to uh, fit into place like that. So just to give y'all a look at what the inside looked like before the propane locker went in, before it got skin on either side of it, it is a good little shape, fits in there nicely. So the next step would be to get it sanded down and get ready to put some carbon fiber on it. And at this point I hadn't thought about drainage and I later went back and added drainage because there is a hole for propane which is heavier than air to escape out the back and I did a solid fiberglass plug and I'm gonna drill a hole through that in the right spot. So you want water to be able to escape too if it gets uh, up that hole and heavy seas or whatever it needs to be able to come back out so it took me a second to think about that but once I did I was able to glass the top of it as well but right now in this shot I'm glassing that side panel that'll go in after the uh, more complicated three-dimensional piece. I'm using vinyl ester resin with this carbon fiber ply here and uh, just doing wet layups like this, squeegeeing them out really well. I have done some vacuum layups, I did that for the companionway cover, uh, but I find that it is more lightweight but sometimes the uh, suction kind of pulls the resin off of the foam so it doesn't stick the carbon to it. Uh, so yeah, I'm still learning how to do all this stuff and uh, getting decent results with wet layups now. So here's pulling the peel ply off and you know there's a little bit of imperfection going on here but overall it's looking good enough for a boat, uh, for me at least, and now I can trim off the excess. On the other piece, which I didn't really film glassing for some reason, uh, it came out a little worse. The actual spots where the propane tanks are going to sit came out really well because I made melamine cutouts and put them in there with weights on top of it but that kind of messed up the surrounding areas so I had to go back through grind a bunch sand a bunch and uh, fix it up and the outside was a lot easier because there wasn't all that shape and profile to it just one big radius bend here and uh, get this side glassed up too So in the end, that's what it looked like, all glassed up, and then I can pull the peel ply off to see what it looks like underneath. And then just the one final side of this is the back side of the second piece that'll go in. So it's all good practice for me just to do these layups and fix it so that it's nice and smooth uh, when it gets painted and it can be cleaned easily. So I just want to make sure that the finish was decent enough. You know, it's not like 
something that's going to be seen all the time. Propane tanks are going to be sitting on it, but I still want it to be smooth enough so that when we clean it, it works. <laughs> and in those shots, you can see the drainage that I had put in there before getting it bondoed into place here. Uh, just to make sure that if water does get in, it'll get back out. And now it's about ready to get the last piece in place and then tab the whole thing in there with three expanding thicknesses of biax fiberglass. And the last piece is like five or six inches wide, so plenty strong for this to now become an integral part of the boat. So that's the propane locker glassed into place. I usually don't get a lot of footage while I'm actually doing the layup because my hands are all sticky and I don't want to get it all over the camera. But uh, yeah, came out all right. So I got the back side of the propane locker glassed in last night and I had a little left over so I filled in one of those mistakes here. But it was the trickiest spot to get to because it's all the way back here, which means you kind of got to scrooch up into here. And this is all curved and when it's clean it's slippery so I was just kind of slipping so. Uh, but got it done, it's all glassed in. With the propane locker installed, I can move on to other stuff in the cockpit, like the rudder stock tube. Getting that made, getting that in place, getting that really strong there. And then the cockpit floor above that, which I gotta figure out the shape of it. I was doing that with some OSB to get the rough shape so I could oversize cut some foam and get a mold going for access hatches in there and the gutters for them and everything. And then thinking about the pedestal, because uh, we are thinking about going with one steering wheel since it's cheaper and less complex. Uh, I really would like to do two steering wheels, to be honest with you, but uh, yeah, the cost and complexity of that kind of drives things up. Figuring out the pedestal and the steering linkage and the shivs and the quadrant and all that is coming up next. So anyway, thanks so much for watching.